With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the following would have a permanent dipole moment. So a dipole moment it emerges when we are having two different electronegative atom. Let's say here it is oxygen and here it is hydrogen. Oxygen it is more electronegative than your hydrogen. So it what it does it withdraws the electron density of your hydrogen. So it contains partial negative charge. and due to deficiency of your hydrogen it contains partial positive charge so this distribution of your electron density is formation of your dipole and the species which having this creation of or the you can say the distribution of charge with the difference of electron ne- electronegativity is considered to be as permanent dipole so we are here here it is boron it belongs to 13 group so have three valence electron it is 1 2 3 and here it is fluorine fluorine and it is fluorine fluorine it is more electronegative than your boron so what it does it withdraws the electron density towards this side and these fluorine this side and this this side the resultant of these two come in this side and this vector and this vector cancel each other or you can say the dipole cancel each other so its dipole comes out to be zero your dipole moment it is denoted by your mu and here cancel with each other so it is comes out to be zero then we are having sif4 silicon belongs to 16 group sorry 14 group of carbon family so it has four valence electron here it is 1 2 3 and it is 4 so again fluorine is the most electronegative in your periodic table so again it is most electronegative than your silicon so what it does it withdraws electron density over here and this fluorine will over here So what does happen? The resultant of these vectors comes out to be this side and this side. So what it does? It again cancel each other. So again, this dipole comes out to be zero. Then we are having SF four. Your sulfur belongs to again sixteen group because of X oxygen family. So have valence six electron. And it is one, two, three, four, five, and it is six. So your four fluorine atom. It is two, three, and four with the lone pair. So what it does? Your fluorine. abstract its electron density towards itself now what will happen over here that this lone pair present over and this bond pair here it is lone pair bond pair repulsion will happen this repulsion will cause the dipole net moment over here due to which it contains dipole so it does not have zero dipole moment due to lone pair bond pair repulsions then we are having xf4 xenon it belongs to 18 group it is an inert gas or you can say it is a noble gas It has eight valence electron. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we are here four fluorine atom. That is one, two, three, and it is four. And let be two lone pairs like this. So here your dipole moment, the xenon, it does not have tendency to gain electron because its octet it is complete and does not lose its electron because it is stable in its ox- in its valence electron. So it does not have dipole. It is a non-polar compound. so we get to know which have the permanent dipole that is your sf4 so according to that your c option will be the right answer for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today